All right, so it's that time again. We have yet another sale. It's been two weeks since I done the other sale video and then another Halloween special video I done last weekend. That sale is still going on until November 2nd. Usually I say check that video out first before you watch this video, but you do have some time. This has been released on October 26th. That sale again is on until November 2nd, so that's about a week from now. This sale featured in this video is up until November 18th. So two weeks at 3 a.m. Thursday morning. All sales featured in my videos will be in Canadian dollars. And that said, the reason why I want you to check this video out first before you watch the Halloween special is because the first game I'm gonna mention is a game everybody needs to have in their library. If you do not have this man, now is absolutely the time to do this. This game of course is, I feel like I say this every sale, Resident Evil 8. Yes, Resident Evil 8 yet again, but this is the standard edition. Normally, this game is $50. This is the cheapest I've seen it yet. I said that last video, but it's $20 now. Whereas the gold edition featured in my Halloween special, I say check that video out. I'm just going to say right now, the gold edition is like $23. And that gold edition does feature DLC, but that DLC is not VR capable. So it's all flat screen content. I have not played the DLC. It does continue the story on from the main campaign without spoiling anything, but it does have a lot more character development and a lot of people do care about that stuff. So it probably is worth getting the gold edition if you do care about the entire Resident Evil storyline. So if you do not have Resident Evil yet, guys, you gotta get it. Whether it's the gold edition or the standard, we're talking 20, 23 bucks, standard 20, gold edition 23. That's crazy. I think toilet paper costs like that much money right now, and I'm not exaggerating. I want to say that's close. The second game I'm going to speak to here is another absolute must. I don't have it in my library yet. I keep saying I'm going to get it, and I do believe this is the time I'm going to get it. For sure, actually, I am going to get it. The people who did complain about you know, the cartoony graphics said the gameplay is incredible, and it's addictive, and you'll keep going back. And that game is Walkabout Mini Golf. This is the hole-in-one edition the fall 2023 edition specifically. What I mean by that is I'm looking at the graphic here on screen. You can see in their thumbnail, they have like a sliver, like a pizza pie of each course featured in there. And that's all DLC. I counted up to 12. I think there's 14 levels altogether. So out of the 14 featured, 12 of them are included in this package. At least that's what I'm seeing. Knowing that every review on Walkabout Mini Golf has talked about the actual standard game is incredible, but every extra course that was released after that was even better and outdoing the previous one. You know, they keep going on about how amazing it is and how it keeps getting better. So to just get the standard version, I think you're doing this game a huge disservice from what I'm, I'm hearing and understanding. So yes, this is the time to get the game if you haven't, like myself, going for the hole-in-one package. The price is normally $57.50. It is 30% off. So the price is now actually $40.25. The next game that I have on the list, I do own on PSVR 1. I have not upgraded to PSVR 2. I did really enjoy it on PSVR 1. If anything, it stood out to me as something totally unique that nobody's ever done before. This game is Creed Rise to Glory Championship Edition. Normally this game costs $53.50 on for 20% off. It's now $42.80. But if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you save an extra 5% and doing the calculations here, that's going to be 30% off the regular price. It is now $40.12. So you save a couple more dollars there. So there is another edition of Creed that I wasn't aware of. It's the premium edition. It is normally $67. It's 35% off. So the current price is $43.55. But as a PlayStation Plus member, you save an additional 5%, which is now 40% off. So from $67, it is now $40.19. With the premium edition I'm showing you on screen here, it includes the Glow Pack. You know, I thought this was going to include more fighters, more arenas, but interestingly enough, it's trunks from what I'm seeing here. And they're not just regular boxing trunks. They look like they glow in the dark. I'm not sure if that's a thing in boxing. I would assume that's a distraction or possibly, you know, something you'd ban in the sport, but I could be wrong. Or, you know, this is just an arcade feature that they're doing and it looks cool because the HDR OLED displays on the PSVR 2 are very cool and you can see colors pop, man. But in this context, I mean, let me know what you guys think in the, the comment section. I'm curious. 
The next game we're going to talk about here, I think this just came out recently. This is Angry Birds VR Isle of Pigs. I know there was a game on PSVR 1 for quite some time. This could be the same game upgraded. So I know the game's been on every like device possible for the past decade, maybe. Absolutely looks way more appealing in VR from what I'm seeing over the tablets and stuff. That said, anybody who has the game, let us know, please. Angry Birds right now is normally $27. At full price, it's 20% off. So it's going for $21.60. But if you're a PlayStation Plus member, it is 25% off. With that, it's $20.24 total. The next game I have played before. It was on PSVR 1 and they did a PSVR 2 upgrade. I have not upgraded it. It's a free upgrade. I didn't spend anything for that. I just haven't jumped back in. And that's what I want you to know is that I did beat the entire game on the first one. All the way through so it was fun enough to do it i kind of remember it again i played a couple hundred titles no joke and i enjoyed the atmosphere for sure and the theme the room vr a dark matter is normally 40 dollars. it's 33 percent off right now so it's 26.79 but if you're a playstation plus member you get an additional 10 percent on top of that so it's 43 percent off of 40 dollars. the total there is 22 dollars and 79 cents yeah, I would recommend watching a trailer on it. That way you have an idea. The next game, I've heard of this. I mean, I know a couple people have covered it. I'm still a little bit like, Ooh, what's the appeal? Until I get into it and try it, I guess I won't really know. This is B99 Overclocked. This is normally $20. It's 25% off, making it $15. But if you're a PlayStation Plus member, 30% off, so an additional 5%. It's going to run you $13.99 instead. If anybody can speak to that game, please, in the comment section, whether you love it or hate it, that would be great. That way we all know whether or not we should be grabbing this. The next game is called Super Death Game Show VR. It is normally $18.56. That is a weird one. So it's 50% off. That makes it $9.28. But if you're a PlayStation Plus member, it is now 60% off. So 60% off of $18.56 is $7.42. Very bizarre. Aside from the name of the game itself, I saw a quick clip of it and I'm just like, what? It just doesn't appeal to me looking at it. I should try it, you know. Again, anyone in the comment section, if you have the Super Death Game Show VR, please let us know what you think. The next game I do own and I have upgraded to PSVR 2 for free. This is Synth Riders, but this isn't the standard game that's on sale, nor the Gorilla Pack version. You have to get the Synth Riders Plus Complete Music Collection to get the discount here. It is normally $133.50. It is on for 25% off, making it $100.11. But as a PlayStation Plus member, it is 30% off, $133.50, making it $93.44. This has been on sale, I think, now a couple times. Again, I can recommend Synth Riders. I did have a lot of fun with it. The actual bass songs that come with the game, I thought were fantastic. When I say this, I mean, I don't really think of putting those songs on to dance or groove to. Not that I dance to myself, but it actually makes you dance in the game. When you're feeling the music and you're using your controllers and then touching these balls on a track and it forces you to move, when you actually move to the music and actually feel the game, and I'm not joking, it becomes easier and then you're, you know, you're into it. Like any other music rhythm game. The more that you let loose and, you know, let your body move to the music, the more that you're actually immersed and into it. So I do love the game. Actually, I want to say love. It was a lot of fun. I can't recommend the complete music collection only because I don't know all this, all the actual songs that come with it and whether or not it's worth a hundred bucks, man, even at that sale. You know, maybe it's the most popular tunes out there. I really need to take a look and let you guys know. I'm curious. The next music rhythm game. This one's called Rhythm Planet. This is the Deluxe Edition. I didn't know there was a Deluxe Edition, man, but Rhythm Planet. This game is normally $30.99. It is 20% off. So you're paying $24.79. I had to look this game up before filming this, actually, because I'm like, what the hell? Rhythm Planet. I love rhythm games, typically. It looks like a compilation of, like, Wii mini games. No joke, you know, where you're hitting a soccer ball with your head badminton racket but it doesn't seem like you're using one-to-one -one motion from what it looks like you're just timing your hands to hitting a ball but it looks like a still animation i could be totally wrong about this again anyone in the comment section if you own this game please let us know 
The next game I can say with certainty, even though I've never played the game, I've heard a lot about it and I've only heard negative. This game is Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue. It's normally $40. It's at 35% off here. So it's $25.99. But if you're a PlayStation Plus member, it is 40% off. And it is now $23.99. When I say I've only heard negative things again, I've never played this game before. It looks cool from what I understand. It just isn't there. Anybody again in the comments section, if you love the game or hate it, please let us know. The next game has drawn very close comparison to Silent Hill. This is called Organ Quarter. It is normally $33.49. It is off 25%, making it $25.11. So that's not too bad. I mean, if it's a scary game and it's a lot of fun, I have no idea. Again, people in the comments, let us know, is Organ Quarter worth the $25.11 right now? Is it worth anything? The next game was on PSVR 1 and it had a love-hate relationship. I want to say it has an escape room type flavor. The game's called Last Labyrinth. Because I didn't own the game on PSVR 1, I don't know if it's a free upgrade or if you have to pay for this or if you have to pay full price for it. I'm not too sure. It is normally $40. It's 25% off for $29.99. The next game I think is done by the same developers. It's called The Tale of Onogoro, if that's correct. Sorry for butchering that. That game is normally $47. It's 25% off right now, making it $35.24. I'm not sure if that's an anime cinematic narrative type game. What I did notice is that this game and Last Labyrinth were actually bundled together. What I was surprised is they're not discounted as a bundle, yet they're discounted individually as you're seeing here. If anyone can speak to the tale, please let us know if that game's any good. Last Labyrinth, I was already interested in getting eventually, but uh, yeah, I kind of forgot about it, being honest with you. The next one is a critically acclaimed game. I don't know if I would call it a game or not, um, an experience from what I'm hearing. Very cool utilization of the eye tracking. When you blink, the game goes forward, the narrative. Most of you probably know what I'm talking about. This game is called Before Your Eyes. Normally at $20, it is 20% off, making it $15.99. This might be an excellent introduction to anyone who has never played VR before and doesn't want to use controls. I'm thinking this is just putting the helmet on and you're looking around and blinking. I think it was nominated for a lot of awards. Maybe it won some. The unique factor in the game is when you blink your eyes, time moves forward and you're getting the story progressing. Other than that, I don't really know anything about it, but I think it's quite moving from what I understand. So for 16 bucks, I mean, my instant reflex is like, I'd rather get a game like Runner at that price, even though I've never played it. Because again, this feels like it's more of a narrative experience versus something I go and have a blast playing for hours straight, you know, arcade action. When I think of PSVR 2, I really want to go more so for the games than the actual cinematic type experiences. All right, so we have two more games to talk about. Both of them I have no interest in getting, but most of you, I think, will have an interest in getting. You know, these are very popular titles. The first one is Cosmonius High. This is by Alchemy Labs. They did Job Simulator and Vacation Simulator. So Cosmonius High is like the next gen Job Simulator from what I understand, and that's why I have no interest in playing this game. But seeing the trailers and stuff, it looks beautiful, like so vibrant. But the actual, it's the tasks, you know, I, I keep thinking this is Job Simulator and PSVR 2. Please, somebody in the comments speak to this. Let me know, really, is this another version of Job Simulator where I'm doing task after task? And then it's kind of cool interacting with the environment, but more of like a beginner VR experience because I really don't want to spend any money on the game. But, you know, if it's worth it, absolutely, I'll try it. This game is normally 40 bucks. It is 25% off, making it $29.99. There's some sort of visual update, accessibility update to that game I see on the thumbnail. I'm not too sure what that's about. That was not there before when the game launched, I'm pretty sure, because it caught my eye this time. And the last game we're going to speak to here is the other Alchemy Labs game called Vacation Simulator, which was the sequel to Job Simulator. This one's called Vacation Simulator Back to Job. And that game is normally 40 bucks, man. So same price as Cosmonius High, a PSVR 2 title. I do not know if they actually included headset haptics or adaptive triggers or eye tracking into Vacation Simulator. Again, anyone online who owns the game and knows this stuff, please let us know in the comments section because I don't think I'm going to be playing this game anytime soon or Cosmonius High. I'm surprised that Vacation Simulator is the same price as Cosmonius High. That blows me away. 
So yeah, that's 16 games that we just went through. None of them are super exciting to talk about, truly, other than Resident Evil and Walkabout Mini Golf. Those two games are absolute must titles, and I'm going to grab Walkabout Mini Golf really soon here. So just in case you actually don't see that hole in one package on sale on your PlayStation 5 in the PlayStation Store, still go to Walkabout Mini Golf, and I'm showing you on screen here. You have to go over to the right hand side where those three dots are, select that go down to hole in one there, and then it changes over to the actual bundle. And then you can see the discounts there. All games that feature a deluxe edition or some sort of variant, that's typically how you'll find that on the PlayStation stores. You have to go to the game, whether it's the base version or deluxe, you can actually see all editions when you go to that triple dot. So I hope that helped everyone out today. Remember that this sale ends November 18th and the Halloween sale, do check out, that's on until November 2nd. So that's about a week from now, maybe less. Absolutely have to promote, again, Resident Evil 8 and Walkabout Mini Golf, the hole-in-one package. Those are no-brainers for sure. The other ones are subjective. I mean, please, everyone, speak to those games in the comment sections, whether you love or hate them. We all want to know, truly, we're all genuinely curious, and we all want to save our money. So, that said, if you like the video today, please click that like button. And if you love what I'm doing with the channel, please subscribe to it. And for all of you that have subscribed to it, thank you so much. I super appreciate it. PlayStation.